That's in it, the structured selvage edge. English style, left-handed. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mountain Metal Wool, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Laramie line in the color teal. The structured selvage edge is a way of creating a border or edge along the sides of your work when knitting and it gives it a little bit more of a decorative look or a more structure to it so it doesn't curl, particularly if you're using something like stockinette. Now the structured selvage edge is created by uh, decreasing and increasing along your first and last stitches. So to begin this for step one, we're going to knit one, then we're gonna leave this on our main needle and we're gonna knit into the, f the back of the same stitch. Okay, so we're coming back around into that same stitch and then knitting it through the back loop. Okay, so we've increased into that stitch and then we're gonna work in pattern all the way across until we reach the last two stitches in our row. So this is called a front and back increase or knit front and back. So when we get to the last two stitches in our row, we're going to purl these two stitches together. Okay, we'll always purl them together. So this is step two. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. We're gonna knit front and back into the first stitch and then purl two together on the last two stitches and continue doing that in pattern until you've reached your desired length. And that's how we knit the structured selvage edge. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitchaday.com slash VIP.